Hi. How are you all? I hope you are still active. We'll see you again on the Wur Latanrang YouTube channel. As usual, we will discuss information about Buffalo, and this time, we will discuss about one of the cultures of the Tana Toraja area, namely, the Tadong Salaga event or the Toraja Buffalo fight, and the reasons for this event, in the beliefs of the Toraja people. However, before continuing with the discussion, let's continue to support this channel, so that it continues to grow by means, like, share, and subscribe. Mapasalaga Tadong or Tadong Salaga is one of a series of Rambu solo ceremonies or funeral ceremonies. The values and initial goal of Mapasalaga Tadong is to provide comfort to the grieving family. This activity also provides entertainment to the people who have worked together in making huts which will later be accommodated to hold the Rambu solo ceremony. These values and goals have shifted due to modernization. The Mapasalaga Tadong activity is actually in a traditional setting held as a distraction or entertainment activity for families and relatives who are present in the funeral process. Tadong Salaga the tradition of buffalo fighting in the death ceremony of the Toraja tribe. Many ethnic groups in Indonesia consider the cycle of human life, from birth to death, to be sacred. There are also many traditional ceremonies performed from the moment the mother is pregnant until someone dies. Discussing traditional ceremonies, the Toraja tribe who lives in the mountains of the northern part of South Sulawesi, is one of the archipelago's ethnic groups known for carrying out routine traditions related to death. They hold a solo sign ceremony for someone who has died. Rambu Solo is no ordinary funeral. The Toraja tribe is also obliged to hold a party as a form of final respect for those who have passed away. The party was held on a large scale, even known as the most expensive death ceremony in the world. The cost needed to hold a solo sign can reach tens of billions of rupiah, considering that families have to prepare many things including pigs and buffalo for slaughter. One of the events in the sign solo ceremony apparently attracted the attention of tourists. His name is called Mapasalaga Tadong or also known as Tadong Salaga. The event is routinely carried out on the implementation of solo signs and the activity is in the form of buffalo fights. Then, what is the purpose of holding this buffalo fight or Tadong Salaga at the Rambu Solo sign event? Tadong Silaga as one of the series of events in Rambu Solo, has the aim of providing comfort to grieving families. Even though they are sad because of the loss of a loved one, the Toraja people believe that death is allowed to be mourned, but also must be happy because it brings humans back to heaven. This event also aims to entertain the community who help each other to make huts for the solo sign ceremony. Because it is considered something unique, this activity becomes an attraction for tourists so that not infrequently many tourists come to see the procession. In Tadong Salaga itself, the buffalo that will be competed is not a random buffalo. The Toraja tribe usually chooses buffalo that are considered special, such as Tadong Bonga or Caucasian buffalo, Tadong Seleko or buffalo with black spots on the back, Lontong Boko or black-backed buffalo, as well as Tadong Pudu which has jet black skin. It should be noted that a Caucasian buffalo can cost up to 1 billion rupiah or more, while the cheapest is Tadong Pudu, which is around 40 million rupiah. The choice of buffalo is certainly related to prestige and prosperity. 
No wonder this ceremony costs a lot of money. Even though you have to prepare a lot of money, the death ceremony and all its series of events are sacred and become traditions that are passed down from generation to generation. Before the buffalo fight, the committee will serve guests and buffalo guides with grilled pork, cigarettes, and palm wine. After that, the buffalo that will be pitted will be lined up and paraded to the buffalo fighting arena. At this moment, the buffalo procession was enlivened by a team of gong bearers, banner bearers, also involving a number of women from grieving families. Tadong Salaga is usually done in a large field, it can be on a rice field or a football field. The Tadong Salaga procession begins with calling the names of the buffalo that will compete to enter the arena. To make it easier to identify, the buffalo's back is usually written with its name in paint. After the buffalo enters the fighting arena, its body will be covered with a white cloth and accompanied by a handler so as not to directly attack each other. After that, the two buffalo that will be pitted will face each other and their horns will be crossed on the horns of their opponents. Here, the handler will start to move away and the buffalo will attack each other. Buffaloes will use their horns to knock each other down and injure each other. The audience will cheer up to give encouragement. The rules of the game are simple, if one of them continues to run away from the opponent for a minute or escapes from the arena, he will be declared defeated immediately. However, if both of them dodge, it will be pitted until one of them loses. A landslide victory will also be immediately awarded if the opponent dies. Although deaths in the arena are rare, though most buffalo will suffer injuries afterwards. After the Tadong Salaga, the name of the winner of the buffalo fight will be more famous and the selling price will be more expensive. No wonder so many breeders pamper and train their buffalo so they can win the Tadong Salaga. That was, the discussion about Toraja culture, namely, Tadong Salaga and the reason for holding the event at the death party in Tana Toraja. Hopefully this video, can provide answers to all of you, about the Tadong Salaga. See you again, in the next video, and please give your input in the comments column, regarding the next discussion, especially about Buffalo. Thank you and best wishes to all of us.